Okay, so here's our challenge today, 4 divided by 2 times 2 plus 1 inside parentheses. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. We have division, multiplication, we have addition, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, everyone can handle this challenge easily. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section. We don't have like a huge values right here, we have only 4, 2 and 1, so it's really great to check up answers in the end of the video. So right here we have 3 options, A, B and C, so choose an option, what do you think is the correct answer, and write your option down into the comment section. So it will be really interesting to check up answers in the end of the video. Okay, so first of all, let's rewrite this challenge right here. So what do we have right here? We have 4, we have division by 2, times, inside parentheses, we have 2 plus 1. So here's our challenge. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, division, multiplication, let's solve this randomly, let's solve this um, wherever we want right here. But in terms of math, it's not works like that. We should know what is the correct order to do this problem. We should know what is the correct property, correct rule. Because obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? And for this challenge, let's look, for example, at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation. In the world, all internet libraries work according to PEMDAS, so let's solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS order of operation. So how does this PEMDAS work? This PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom, so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group, okay? So in this moment, let's solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS, because we need to know what is the correct order of operation, because it not works only like in math, yeah, in, for example, in biology, in chemistry, we should know what is the correct property, correct definition, and we should solve it according to a correct, correct order, correct method, okay? And in terms of math, let's solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS order of operation. So how does this PEMDAS work? First, we have parentheses. So right now let's scan, where do we have parentheses in our challenge? Let's look at it. So right here we have expression, yeah, we have parentheses right here in the end. So first we should evaluate the expression inside these parentheses. Okay, so first we should evaluate the expression inside these parentheses. Okay, so 2 plus 1 equal to 3, so what do we have right here? We have 4 divided by 2 times 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Very basic addition, so we do need a word of operation to do this, to handle this challenge right here inside parentheses. Okay, so we complete this parentheses part. Let's go to the next step. The next step, according to PEMDAS, is exponents. So we should scan where do we have exponents in our challenge. Maybe squares, cubes right here. So let's scan where do we have it. In our case, we don't have any exponents, we don't have any power, so we just skip this part. We don't have any exponents. It's, it's really great. What about multiplication division group? Let's scan where do we have this multiplication division group. Division we have right here and multiplication we have right here. So finally we find our next step. Multiplication division have the same priority, so we should find um, what is the first sign from left to right, because a lot of students say, okay, we have multiplication third uh, step after this parenthesis exponent multiplication, and a lot of students say, okay, now we should multiply two times three. And it's, it's not that good, because we should find what is the first sign from left to right, so we have both, we have multiplication, we have division right here, okay? So right now, what is the correct order to do this problem? We should scan what is the first sign from left to right. We have two signs, division, multiplication, and it doesn't matter. Multiplication, division, division, multiplication. First, we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. Let's look at it. So, first sign from left to right is this division. So, we should divide 4 divided by 2, which gives us 2. And we still have this multiplication by 3, so 2 times 3. So, as you can see, according to this case, division, second step. And third step, multiplication. We don't have any addition uh, at all, we don't have any subtraction. Yeah, we had division right here, but it's really, you know, like, uh, it's not that hard to add 2 plus 1, okay? So division, second step, multiplication, third step. We have 2 times 3 equal to, equal to 6. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, mister, what about uh, division by 2 times 3? So where we can divide 4 divided by 2 times 3, so 4 divided by 6, it works like that. This is a wrong solution. But then I answer them, okay, let's write this 4 divided by 2 as a fraction. Let's do this. It changed nothing, maybe, uh, but let's do this, okay? So we have 4 divided by 2. Let's write it as a fraction. We can do this because this is division. Why not? Yeah, so then times we have 2 plus 1. Let's do this. So 4 divided by 2 as a fraction. So we can divide numerator and denominator by 2. So as a result, we have only 2. 2 times 2 plus 1. So we have 2 times 3, which gives us the same fix. So as you can see, according to this approach, this is absolutely the same answer. But then I uh, ask my students, okay, what about this solution? I hope you understand this part. But some of those, uh, some of those uh, tell me, okay, we have 4 
divided by 2 times 3. And some students tell them, tell me, okay, we can write it as 4 divided by 6. And then I ask them, okay, why you do this? Why you can multiply at first before this division? This is a very bad solution in terms of math. If you want to divide it by 6, so 4 divided by 6, if you want to write it like that, you should put parentheses. Okay, and with parentheses, it means that you divide this 4 by the whole entire product on the right-hand side. Okay, but this is a completely different solution. This is our two third. And a lot of students uh, solve this question like that. They say that correct answer is, is B, two third, because they think that we should divide by the whole entire product. But we don't have parentheses in our challenge. We don't have parentheses right here. So it means that we should go from left to right in a regular order from left to from left to right. So my explanation is right here. My solution is like that. Obviously, you can easily, you can easily uh, check this solution in, in scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use the regular calculator because you know sometimes happen that those calculators work with problem as you type it in. So for example, you plug in this challenge four divided by two, and your calculators divide instantly. Yeah. Try to find something more sophisticated like a um, graphing calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem, and then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. And then a calculator see okay, I have division, multiplication, parentheses, and then I know okay, parentheses, division, multiplication. This is a correct order. Okay. So you can easily check it. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel so with that being said see you in the next videos also write your question write your thoughts about this challenge what is the correct answer how many answers will be correct it will be really interesting to read about it so see you in the next videos and have a great day